So we're setting off from the Swan Pub. In Conoskey, golfed in, golfed in area. The Swan Inn. Or the Swan Inn, as it says now. Everywhere's gearing up for Halloween now, so get a few pumpkins and skeletons knocking around. The flats here replaced the old streets that used to be a Union Street. Is it Waterloo Street? King's Road still exists, but it's blocked off now. And it's uh, a bit shorter than it once was. On the Swan End at least, anyway. Heading up the Key Hill at the moment, past the old Victorian housing on the left hand side of the road over there. Key food and wine, that used to be bargain booze. There was a chemist there at one time, number 64, that's a house now next to bargain booze. There was some kind of uh, issue years ago whereby the chemist got um, into trouble for, I think he was selling medication he wasn't supposed to or something, wasn't he? You've got China Garden, Chinese. What used to be the little news agents, now housing. And Bengal Dynasty. On the opposite side of the road used to be a taxi office for a few years. That's gone there. There used to be an old house on the end here, I think it was called Osborne House. Just on the end of Penelan Street, Brim Road. The cemetery is up there. Yeah, there's a big old red bricked house here. That was knocked down probably early 2000s, something like that, when they built these new council houses. There's a little reminder, a little reminder here in the wall, that did say JR, I can't remember if it was 1881 or what, I have got it written down somewhere, but that used to be in the wall of the house. Cottages across the road there, Rockside Cottages, 1898. So all Victorian stuff. Here there was a barn sort of building. Um, and some houses. Different ones to these. If I recall correctly. I seem to remember this wall. The Albion Club across the way, which is no more. going to be sheltered housing I think now. All changed. And you've got St Mark's Church coming up. And St Mark's Infants as well. Now I'm not a hundred percent but I think that the building across the road here now was the original St Mark's Infants because if you look on old photographs you've got photos from about 1890 something the kids stood outside here whereas the building that was around the back was built into the 1920s so it wouldn't have been here then. Here's St Mark's Church. The wall here was moved 
I think it was in the 1960s, possibly early 70s, uh, because they wanted to widen the road and put this lay-by in and what have you. But the only thing I was always told, I don't know if it's correct, was that the wall used to be, I suppose, pretty much where that fiesta is now. And this was a graveyard. See all the graves at the back there? All those graves. They were moved when they um, moved the wall back, but they left the bodies. Now, I don't know how far back the wall was moved, but a lot of people said that we're walking on them here now. I hope that isn't the case, but nonetheless, the gravestones were moved many, many years ago. I suppose there's not many people left now who remember them. The people who were uh, buried here, sadly. I'm sure there's someone's ancestors in there, though. One thing that intrigues me as well is this little thing here. I'm not sure what that was. Is it where someone used to put the coal or something? Or I have no idea what it is. It's just like a little divot in the wall. And that leads off down to the, the priest's house. And that was where St. Mark's or Golfton Infants was. That's gone now, unfortunately. That was my school when I was a little kid. Only in recent years, it's been knocked down about two years, say. Knocked it down about 2017, 2018, something like that. And built the housing estate. I think, I think they're private houses because they've got, um, oh, what do you call it, powered by the sun, solar, they have solar power on there. This is an interesting building too, Farfield Lodge. Now I don't know, I'll have to have a look at the old road system, but if that's Farfield Lodge for Farfield Hall, it must have been quite an interesting um, road leading up to there at one point it's been long lost probably oh that house is for sale now i think that used to be key clocks i'm not sure one of these two was key clocks i'm not sure which one but the gentleman um, was a very good uh, horologist I think it's actually next door to be honest, I think he must still be going. Um, this was the doctor's surgery, I can't remember which doctor it was for. I'm sure someone out there knows, but I haven't got a clue. Have you any idea? But that's been shut for quite some time now. I think the doctor sold up and uh, sold the back garden or well, someone bought it off the doctor and sold the back garden because there used to be an extremely long back garden here so you will get quite a lot of noise because we're right on the main road here and it's quite a busy little road as a uh, the steelworks over there in the background. The pandemic is all but forgotten now, I think. Some of the older housing along here is very pretty. Nice to see people are still trying to keep it original as well. It's not very common these days. Farfield Lodge that we passed um, just a few, few minutes ago that leads 
I assume, up to Farfield Hall, which is up that road now, the Masonic Lodge. I'm quite surprised that these buildings exist really because they're a bit low. This late Leighton Court. Just because um, I can remember when the the River Dee flooded last time. You know, it wouldn't be too far off uh, the, the, the first floor of that house probably. Also you got the Buckley Line. That used to uh, head off down towards the docks here. There used to be two tunnels here. This one below us has been filled in. There is still, however, hidden, um, I think in that bush there, I think it is, a piece of the old um, signage that used to hold the sign for Comiskey Station or the timetables or something like that. Just a couple of bits of wood really, nothing exciting. But, um, but uh, down there, this is Railway Terrace here, used to be the railway lines going down to the docks and then off up the fields there, off up to Buckley. We've got the Navy Club, etc. there now. Yeah, you've got the um, you've got the Royal Welsh Fusiliers Army Hall here. Well, you did have it. It was cadet for many years, and then it's changed recently to uh, housing. It was Jim Sull's office for a few years in the early 2000s, but Jim Sull sold up. There was a quick glimpse of the terrace, the tips, etc. Used to be up there. Got Navy Club land and things like that up there now. I have been there in previous videos, but I'll try and stick to the main road on this one. Incidentally, I used to play there many years ago. I used to play there. That was like my uh, that was like the scary house when I used to walk down to my nana's. It was a big old wooden door with a great big post box. And I don't think there was anyone living there. I used to look through the post box into this derelict old house. I used to think it was quite spooky. Again, there used to be housing along here. I'm not quite sure of the location. I know that these houses were here, but I think there was some just on the dock road here. I'm sure there's a few people who stick a comment or whatever. just to uh, point out where they actually were. I think they were where those trees are in the Dock Road Industrial Estate sign, I think at least. Um, and I think that, that this, this is like an, a new road or something. I th uh, well, I know that the main route down to the docks used to be the further road where you've got the DCM glazing, the Fight Club and the tyre save, etc. So all the traffic, I believe, used to go that way copac chandlers and things like that used to be there this was the bank when i was a kid 1893 it's got written up the top there hopefully you can see that on this camera but it was uh lloyd's bank i think it was when i was younger it's been shut for many years that closed in the 80s that place here there used to be a little hut just up on the mound and it was uh, oh, a nursery, a playgroup, uh, pensioners used to go there. It was used for a variety of community things. But these, uh, these flats were put in a number of years ago now. 19... 90s, early 90s. Now, I don't know which one is which. I'm not quite sure if Copac Chandler's is that one with the post box opposite. I 
think it might be. Because I think that's where they used to hang the sails, someone was saying to me. See that wooden post up above? I thought that was for loading stuff off the, um, the big horse and carts. Because you've got the door which would be about the right height. But someone was saying they used to hang sails off that for the sailing ships. When they were doing them up or whatever. So, um, interesting bit of info. And I'm not sure if that was the post office. It, I'm not quite sure, I must admit. Quillen Mitchell's, it's been empty for years and uh, I don't even know if it's got any floors in it anymore. The windows are open, as you can see. So it's probably full of pigeons, probably full of damp. It's got a huge flagpole on the top of it though. See the huge flagpole? Oh, it, it went on fire apparently. Now heading down towards the Hare and Hounds pub, Brown's Furniture Warehouse etc. There is a little chapel built on the back of this um, that I think they took over years ago. It's just used for storage now, I think. Little picture frame in place across the road. Navy Club up the road there. Right, okay, now I can resume. So I'm recording into my phone and it keeps on ringing when I'm trying to record, so I've had to turn it off. Right, headed towards the Hearn Hounds now. Just going past Brown's Furniture Warehouse. Now Brown's has been um, here for quite a number of years. If you're ever looking for a mattress or a settee as well, they sometimes chuck them out there be collected. The Hen Hounds, that's been here for crikey, 1800s I think. Big old coaching in. I think if you look at old pictures, this uh, bit here of where you got browns, I think there was like a great big entrance where you could get round the back with your horses and what have you, back in the day. Across the road here you've got a couple of fairly normal looking houses, that used to be the Sea Spray Chip Shop, many all remember. you got Hammer Sound that was there for probably a good 30 years or so, selling um, musical instruments. Useful little shop. Uh, you have the Quick Save here, that's also long gone. Another um, casualty of the 80s and 90s. I'm not quite sure what was up there. I think it was an old hall. 
or an old house of some kind. Must admit, I'm not really sure myself. The little news agent has been a news agent as far back as I can remember, and then, and then some, I think, because I think uh, there's a video from the 1960s online, and there's a news agent there then, looking pretty similar, to be honest, to what it looks like now. The police houses used to be there next door to the church. Like a big white house. That got ripped down. No worries. That got ripped down. Um, and they built a, another little house and estate there. Methodist Chapel, but I don't know if it's in use anymore. I'm not quite sure. I know that Golfton Chapel's closed now. Very recently, whether this one's closed, I don't know. I think the Stead and Simpson's shoe shop used to be here. And down here you had the bank. You had the bank and you also had the district council offices. They used to be here. As you can almost uh, imagine, I suppose. On this side of the road, I'm not quite sure. My memory's a little bit hazy. There may have been more. Wasn't there another bank here somewhere? Got the ship in. I think the ship. I think the ship is still open. The. Uh, the council offices are now Zari Indian Cuisine. That's not bad Zari as well. Deeside Motor Centre. I think that they still specialise in Volvos. I think. They always used to. Um, when I looked the other day in the showroom window there is still an old 240 or something or 740 Volvo so I think that they still do and there's plenty of Volvos in the forecourt so the signs are there building supplies place here now a lot of housing in the back as you can see there nowadays as well but that's cropped up in recent years You also had the, like the old bargain stores. Across the road there. I think they've been sort of sucked into the car show room now. So they've gone long gone as well. There was a printing office along this bit of road. But that that too was um has bit the dust, I think. Again, the um, the large house across the road there used to have a big garden full of, uh, I think it was apple trees, if I remember right. Um, but as is the case with most modern times, they. They sell the land because it's worth a fair bit of cash and the housing estate crops up. So you've got a um, you've got another housing estate here now. Some of you will remember the uh, the little uh, garden that used to be there. Across this noisy road here, you've got the uh, sign that says uh, Marsh Cottage 1851. Right, 
and developments limited. I'm not sure if they're still going or bit the dust. Not quite sure with those. Here you've got what used to be the bargain stores and the Red Cross training place. These are long shut. As you can see, look at the door, it's uh, nature's reclaiming this place. But I'm sure there's quite a few people over the years who've spent some time in there doing their uh, Red Cross training. Coming towards Bean Place here now. You got like a motocross bike spares, spares place, and the delicious Chinese across the road there. Let's get another view of the um, the old bargain stores. Not quite sure what that was used for previously, but uh, it does have one of those high doors for um, for cart deliveries so definitely an old building street lamp there looks a bit old as well <laughs> might be an old street lamp but it's got an LED on the top now these signposts on the other side of the road here They've been there for donkey's years. When I was a kid, we used to be able to, um, well, you used to have a metal sort of structure across the way there. It was like a, a big ornate gate that had seen better days when I was a little kid. But it used to go from one side of that red brick wall to the other um, and it used to lead up that driveway there i'm not quite sure what was in there whether it was a big fancy place or whatever but you can still see a couple of the little bits of metal sticking out the top of the wood the um oh dear the uh, the wall there and I think, I think there was a house at the top of here. Was it Red Old Farm that was at the top of this one? I think it may have been Red Old Farm because I'm sure that in the in the care home or the old age pensioners place, they've got a photograph of it. I think there was a TV repair shop across the way there. Several years ago. There's the TV repair shop. Sestrian Street down there. This was an old chapel, I think it's S C I O N. Sean, is it? Is it the old Welsh chapel then? I guess. But the um I think the travelling community own it now because on most um, most uh, weekends you see quite a lot of uh, vans and what have you parked up here and a lot of the uh, the traveling community come from um, the Mancot area is it I think they've got a camp down Queens Ferry Way anyway they've got a camp Heading now down towards the uh, the park. Oh, there. 
well it's the bowling green anyway it does have a name it's something like centenary park or ceremonial gardens or something I'm not sure Maud Street yeah it's not Maud Street Park though is it I'm sure someone will comment below with uh, what it's actually called I know it's not Maud Street Park it's something it says something like Jubilee Gardens or something Yeah, maybe I'm wrong, it could have been further back the Redwall one. This might have been the old hospital. Lanamorpha. I'm getting some second hand info here, so uh Yeah, so Glanamorpha may have been up the top of that slope then. Perhaps that's what that fancy looking driveway led to, maybe. Back in the day, perhaps. The uh, fountain from the Wepper Hall was brought down to here. Foolishly really, because it didn't last long before it was smashed to pieces, but it was brought down to um, this park to go in the bowling green, I think. And it uh, didn't take too long to get destroyed, sadly, which is a shame. Festival Gardens it's called on there. I'm sure it had a different name like Jubilee Park or something but maybe I'm talking rubbish. Comiskey Bowling Green, Festival Gardens. Maybe it was Festival Gardens. That's some dreaming. That little hut across the way there when I was a kid my mum used to tell me it was the Three Bears house. And I believe that I thought the Three Bears lived in there. <laughs> I think we've been reading the story, Goldilocks or whatever. Yeah, that was a few years ago. Also, just across the way here, just make sure you can see it on the screen. That pipe there, I think. I think that that's one of the last gas lamps in Conniskey. If not the ga last gas lamp in Conniskey. There's a piece of one down in Shotton near the River Queen Chinese. Just by River Queen there's like, um, I think it's a solicitors or something. And just, it's either in the car park or on the corner of the car park, you'll see the bottom of one of them. Just the bottom bit hasn't got the top on that one. But I think this is the uh, the only one that's got a top on it. I think that's what it is anyway. I don't think it's a stench pipe. I think I think that one was one of the one of the gas the gas lamps. The housing down here has very recently changed in the last 12 months or so really because the old slaughterhouse had been gradually falling to pieces for donkey's years and being vandalised and was derelict so the council decided to um, get rid of it basically. And they tried to make the corner a little bit safer at the bottom of the road. I think they've moved the building back a little from where it originally was. See, this is where the slaughterhouse used to be. A lot of people will remember that place. That's now gone. These buildings are very recent. About a year old or so. Maybe two. Not very good with time. Just at the bottom there, you can actually cross over the railway. Not recommended, because you have to go on the track, I think, there. I don't think there's a bridge. So uh, you're probably better off using one of the bridges instead, but you can get across there if you're safe little houses and estate down the back there now behind the old Catholic church.
Now, worryingly, that's my barber's. <laughs> Hope she hasn't closed because she's fantastic. Sure. Oh dear. That's very sad. One of the best barbers in the area. I have to find out where she's setting up shop. Doona's. Doona's Barbers. There's a Catholic church. I spent many an hour in there with my granddad over the years. And then the Custom House, which is now closed, I believe. I think the uh, brewery have said that they're shutting it down. Where that car is now, on the left, used to be an old chapel. That was pulled down to build those houses in the 1990s, I'd say. But the Custom House has very, very recently shut. Still one way here, but you still still got to be on your toes. I was told that a, a horse and cart come careering down this road and went through the shop window, and that's why they uh, turned it into one way. Whether that's just fairy tale, I don't know. But that's one thing I heard. But uh, you know how the tales are. Next to the Catholic Church across the way is um, it's now a house where it used to be a sweet shop years ago. And quite a lot of you will remember the Hippodrome either being a cinema or a bingo hall. Well it's been furniture place for good grief. 30 years, maybe 40 years. You can generally find a bargain in the Hippodrome. There's always something there. I'm amazed the building's still standing though, because it's absolutely falling to bits. But, uh, but it's still it's still going. Salvation Army hut is still going. I think the Salvation Army still meet there. I think. I can't. I can't see what it says on there. I think it says something glass. I don't know if that's just part of the um, the name that's been imprinted on the side of the girder. Also, that piece of land there's always been just a piece of land, which is weird. Must be a reason for it. Either they won't sell, or there's something under there that, that is undesirable. Not quite sure which it is. The Hollies, Dr. Inc, The Furs, 1902, slightly newer down here I suppose. You've got the hollies, the fir and the ivy. That cottage is called the ivy. You've got Conosky Post Office here. It used to be known as Weapon Post Office really, but uh, it's the only post office I think now, apart from ones that are in inside spas and things, so there's not many of them left. Post office is generally shut most of them down. So you've only got pretty much wet the post office left now. and the uh, church I still think it's sacrilegious that that church was pulled down but the spire I think was unsafe and they didn't have the money to sort it out 
surely they could have raised it in this day and age I think someone would have done some kind of fundraising thing or crowdfunding or whatever but unfortunately it bit the dust and they had to rip it down the other amazing thing I find about here is uh, just look down the bottom of there down Marsh U as they call it down Celtic Street well if you cast your mind back to the summer of 76 the water was pretty much lapping about halfway up that green electric box so just imagine how deep the water would have been down there and if that water comes back it could get interesting I hope it never does that used to be the boathouse the boathouse is now based at the back of there and behind that is the key health centre full of doctors Dr Harney, Dr Chowdhury, uh, Dr Fletcher etc. Labour Club a bit further up. The boat house is now owned by William Hill and Labrook's next door. Betting doing quite well over, over here in uh, Conescape. And this place has recently changed to traditional Transylvanian cuisine. That's interesting. <laughs> traditional Transylvanian cuisine. Hopefully not serving next. Got coffee and creams cafe. Hot stuff takeaway and the Conosky funeral care home. Across the way you got Daya Kebab. Lloyd Williams is, which has been a plumbing place for many years now, plumbing supplies place. Hot stuff, as you remember was always based across the road there where Daya Kebab is but Daya Kebab has been there for Daiki must be about 25 years now it's a good while anyway Spring Street tanning studios, hair, tattoos that kind of thing along the main road here now vapes and all that kind of stuff I think Spring Street Garage is still going I must admit I've not been there for years that's where the houses used to be if you remember them and the market market's pretty much gone now the, um, the shop here was a one-stop shop for many years converted to a Tesco's about six months ago and then the rest of the row really is um, Polish and Eastern European food shop. Some nice stuff to be got in there, by the way. Loads of interesting goodies that you, not, you don't get in Tesco's. Though with the arrival of Aldi's and things like that, you do get quite a lot of um, uh, European foods that you wouldn't have seen here years back in the likes of Asda and Morrison's and what have you. But you do get the odd unusual treat in there. I think uh, Graham Catherall had his shop here for a number of years. I think it was a Labour campaign place for a bit. Uh, but that's also gone now. A lot of shops are struggling, I suppose, with the pandemic and. Uh, Life's not being made much easier for them at the moment, so a lot of bite in the dust. There's a the Methodist church there. Creature comforts. That shop. That's been there for donkey's years and Wilton's Greengrocers That's been there for about 40 years, maybe 50 years It's been there a hell of a long time Roxy's Used to be the woolly worm across the way there but that's a bit of dust as well
Beside Dental Surgery and Motor World. Motor World used to be, is it Unwinds? Is it? I think it was Unwinds. Greengrocers, and they had one in uh, Queen's Ferry as well. You can, you can still just about see. On the top, I think it was Ka Unwin's Cash and Carry or Irwin's Cash and Carry. Dr. Gavin used to live up there. You got the council offices, which are no more. The swimming baths are still going. Funeral directors. Tree care place. Now I don't know if that's still in action, but the offices are still there. used to be a charity shop here too. Connorsby Library is just across the way, you can see the Civic Hall as well. Library's been done up in recent years. It's be a bit more fancy than it once was. Newton Cottages, 1872. There's a gentleman redoing his windows up there. Precarious. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Across the way over there you've got the old Summerfield supermarket, Gateways as I remember it. That's been there for quite a number of years. I think it was, um, I think it was Alf Parry's yard. Used to be an old house in the middle of, uh, in the middle of the field sort of thing here. Big hedge and that when I was a kid. Swimming baths are still there. I think they're doing all right, swimming baths, as far as I'm aware. Some of this housing has been redeveloped in years gone by. That's from 1871 with the dragon on. These houses here, a couple of them I think were shops when I was a kid. Can't quite recall what they were though, but I'm fairly sure they were shops. Car park here. It's a paint display nowadays, but during Covid they just shut all the paint display car parks to try and encourage people to go to the shops, but judging by the amount of cars in there, it doesn't really seem to have worked. Across the Lizitors, they moved down this end of the wall road a few years ago. Again, they've been there for, for a number of years, 1980s, I think. Coming to the brook in a minute. It's heading towards the cenotaph. There used to be big gas, oh, I can't remember what they're called, but gas things over there that used to move up and down as the gas filled and lowered. They've long gone. The Senate to commemorate 
everyone who fought and died in the war. God bless them. I think it was initially installed for the Great War and then additional people were put on in the um, the Second World War. A lot of names there, local names, very sad. Coming now towards um, the shopping. Uh, shot and part of the video. I think there's a bench missing there, I think. There's something gone. So this is pretty much the divider between Comiskey and Shot on this bridge. Once we're over the other side of this we're pretty much into Shotton. And you can see the denominator across the way there. Get a bit of film of the brook. Little hairdressers across the way and the uh, shot and sign. This place is the estate agency. That used to be Lloyd's Bank. I think it's still Cyril Jones Solicitors. Has been for a number of years, but up, up on the top of the roof, you can still see the plastic sign for Lloyd's TSB inverted, where they've just stuck it back on back the front. Path's a little bit wider in Shotton, um, so we've got a little bit more room to spread out. Step away from the buildings, perhaps capture them a little better, maybe. Remember across the way. Across the way, you used to have Janet's and other sort of shops. Job centre. I can't remember what was upstairs there, but this was the job centre for a great number of years. And then the Wok One Buffet, this has been a Chinese buffet since, frankly, I don't know, I can remember it being one in about 1981. And I think it's a bit of dust due to COVID-19. I, I think it's uh, I think it's finally gone. This was Mr. Bevans, but along with most of the Mr. Bevans, it's gone. So I've heard some rumours that Mr. Bevans might be returning, but whether it's true or not, I don't know. Price's Butchers makes nice pies in there. Prices are still going. I remember that being the Net Cafe across the way there for a while when that was a thing. Internet cafes, remember them? Bridge Street at the bottom there.
changed a bit there now, but used to be the milk bar, I think. This used to be Bartley's Bank. Another one that's gone. There's still a few businesses trying their best to stay going though during this period, so best of luck to them. And Butler's. Butler's TV repair shop. Yeah, Butler's. Used to be. Baby scanning boutique, I don't know what the heck that is. For a while it was a charity shop. Baby scanning gifts. E6. You got your manweb clock. Still there. Been five past one for years. Woolworths here. Woolworths has been BNM for a long time. Manweb was a quite successful charity shop till recently. It's one of these ones that used to sell chairs, tables and settees and all kinds in there, you know, one of these big, um, these bigger charity shops. But uh, Covid saw it off unfortunately, which is a shame because it was a good one. You saw quite a lot of good stuff in there as well. Decent solid furniture and things like that, you know. You got an Iceland now. Years ago it was the Tesco's. The Tesco's is long gone now. Shopping cards and gifts. The pound stores. Turkish barbers, across the way there was Swifty Shoppers. Swifty Shoppers was there for a number of years as well. Last moved um, a little bit further down. Now, whether that's still going, I don't know. I think it's still, I think it's still open, but it's not at the moment. Alf Jones is still here. Oh, we'll go. Go across the track of lights here. been here for a number of years. That's where Thrifty Shoppers used to be. Now there was some reason the brothers, the two brothers wanted to swap the shops around because there wasn't enough room in one shop or something, the Thrifty shop. So one moved into that one by the lights with the cards and one moved in to, I think it's, I think it's the red one. Yeah, the old police stations down this road, Mrs. Solisbury and the old Coa. And he knows a few bits and bobs I don't, you see. Avalon Villas, I think this is the one. Yeah, I think this is the one that's thrifties now. The 
the school used to be along there. That got pulled down in the 80s. There's a farm produce shop here. I've heard good things about that place. Apparently the veg in there is quite nice, so worth a nose if you're shopping. This used to be part of the old nice fry shop. It's been closed quite a number of years, though this end of it has turned into like an Eastern European place. Flogging all kinds, usually open reasonably late as well in case you need some it like a pint of milk at night. Not as so not open as late as golf in Esso though. That place is always handy. Pleases jewellers and the Quirid as well. Yeah. Pleases jewellers, yeah, it has been there years. I'm really just telling me. Okay, so when I was filming earlier. Um, the battery run out unfortunately by the clue in. And we nipped into the weather spoons here. We come out and it's night time. Night drops quick in winter. So it's roughly up there where I got to. Heading now over to uh, where the Matt West potlock used to be. Boots the chemist. The only problem now is it's quite dark and this camera's not very good in low light. There's Bethany Book. Been here many years, Christian Bookshop. I don't know whether this can pick this up, but there's an actual signpost there saying Charmley's Lane. This place used to do cakes and things. It was the florists for many years. And this was Colin Beck's news agent, which equally is now hit bit the door. And the tunnel. They put this anti-graffiti wall up now because it was just constantly being graffiti forever and I mean it still is but this stuff wipes clear easier I think got the station cafe going away cycles I think it used to be B-side cycles I think it's still the same place to be honest that's across the road is it? it's a side cycle across the road no uh, across the road apparently gym supper bar Used to be wing wire. Been gyms for years now. It was wing wire for I don't know about 25 years, maybe longer. On the end here, where there's houses now, used to be a couple of shops. One was the butchers, uh, and the other was for a while Gemini blinds. For a brief period in the ooh, early, sort of mid late, mid mid early 80s, so 84, 85, something like that ish, it was Monsters, which was a, 
I don't know, I think it's old music and stuff. A bit like Liz's Bring and Buy, I suppose, but not not quite the same. It seemed to be a den of iniquity, really, but it was a interesting place. And that's it, really. <laughs>